Hey guys, Felix here from JNR Studios, and I want to make this quick video just to show you guys um, my setup. I um, purchased the M1 MacBook Pro 14 inch on day one, and um, I hardly use it because I've been looking for a docking station to, of course, expand um, to my monitors. And it was been it's been really hard to find one that will work. I've done a lot of research, um, googling and searching forums and so forth. And what I found is a lot of the docking stations on the market right now aren't able to actually um, expand to two monitors or give you a triple monitor display. Some will just duplicate the monitor, so you get a um, you know basically whatever you see on your laptop, you see on the monitor, right? Um, none will actually expand and give you that, that, ex that um, expandability. Lee Morris from F-Stoppers have done an extensive um, review on several docking stations and he did find one that sort of works um, for him, but um, I didn't go that route. I actually ran into um, this Dell docking station and it's the W19TB um, Thunderbolt version. And it has been working really well for me. And I just kind of want to share that with you guys. And um, if you're in the market for a docking station and you want one that works. Now, there are some drawbacks with that. And I'll go over that in a sec. Um, but I just want to go ahead and show you guys how it works. So here we have the 14 inch. And as you can see, we have triple display and I can bring my mouse across all three monitors with no problem and the cool thing about this is if you open up an application on this dock here it will open here if I go to the other screen and open up a window it opens up on that window so you can control you know your application based on what screen you open it on. And also, if I drag, for instance, here, this guy here, and um, I close the screen, it moved over here because of the default, but okay, I bring it back here, sorry. So if I bring this here, it will stay. And of course, if I unplug the docking station, it'll go back to your desktop as it should. And then once I open it, once I connect back again, all of my shortcuts will go back where I, where I had them. So that's really cool. Um, and also, you don't have to worry about chasing the, the, the uh, mouse because when the screen is closed on the, on the uh, MacBook, you only get, you know, the display going from left to right here. It doesn't go past the edges, just the real estate of these two monitors. Um, of course, these aren't color calibrated or anything like that. Um, I use it for Lightroom and Photoshop. But if I want to try out the colors and see how they really are, I can always just put it on the MacBook screen. Now, in terms of connectivity, um, this docking station doesn't have that much. Um, so let's to go over you know, the, the, the configuration here. Um, I have a display port plugged into the docking station. And then to drive the other monitor, what I had to do was get a USB-C to display port adapter and use the Thunderbolt connection, USB-C connection on the docking station to actually drive it to the separate monitors. It does have dual display ports, but if you put two display port monitors in there, then they'll just duplicate each other. They, it wouldn't actually expand the screen. So it's very important that you have one in the display port or the HDMI and then one in that USB Thunderbolt port. Um, that's the only way um, the MacBook will actually Right, and again, this was the MacBook Pro and, um, M1, and I'm not sure if the original M1 version will do this as well. I think there's some restrictions with that. Um, in terms of USB connections, there's one USB-C here in the front, one here, and then there's two in the back. In order for me to really expand on this, the beautiful thing about these particular monitors um, from Dell is it has the USB expandability built into the monitor. So I have one USB cable coming in here and about four USB connections in the back. Um, so I have my hard drives um, and some other um, USB connectivity um, connected. Also, the power button wouldn't work, of course. That's bypassed. Um, that's the only thing that doesn't work on this. And also, um, I'm 
C. It doesn't have an audio pass through. So if you want to hook up external speakers, unfortunately, you will have to plug it directly into your MacBook um, headphone port. Um, I really wish it, this one had it, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, and other than that, um, it's, it's, it's really good. Now, it is pricey. It's 300 and something dollars. I can't remember the exact price. I didn't write it down for this video. Um, but if you can find it on um, Amazon. And again, I'll link to this, um, a link to it in the description. I'm not being paid for this. I just wanted to share with you guys um, this great discovery that I found. You know, I did some research online and, and with different Dell docking stations, and this is the one that seems to work the best for this particular application. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like, leave a comment, dislike if you didn't like the video, it just it help, it all helps. Um, if you have further questions, and um, I can answer them for you. Um, if you don't mind giving me a follow, I'd really appreciate it. So yeah.